Welcome back to my channel, sports fans. Okay, let's get into this one right here. Jordan versus LeBron in a seven-year span of their prime, right? We're going to talk about Jordan versus LeBron in their prime. And the first time they won the first NBA championship, and this was, this was, is what Nick Wright was talking about, right? Nick Wright was on, what's his show called? I don't even watch this show no more. I can't even remember the name of it, but it's, it, it's a trash show. It, it's, it's all about LeBron and Patrick Mahomes, right? Don't matter if Patrick Mahomes is the worst quarterback in the league <laughs> that season. He's always number one. Don't matter if LeBron is the worst player in the league that year. LeBron is number one. First things first. <laughs> uh, what should I say? Last things first. Yeah. So this is what Nick Wright was discussing about. LeBron was better than Michael Jordan um, in their primes. And I'm like, what? And this guy considered LeBron, his prime was 2012, right? That's when his prime started. So, okay, let's say Michael Jordan's prime was when he won his first championship, right? And then on, right? So it's in a seven-year span after they each won their first championship, let's look at it. Let's go ahead and look at this. For Michael Jordan, it was 91 to 98. For LeBron, it was 2012 to 2018. So for Michael Jordan, six championships, six six finals MVPs, uh, four MVPs, four all-star appearances, Two-time All-Star Game MVP, um, six-time first, uh, what is this? No, six-time All-NBA first, uh, six-time All-NBA Defensive First Team, one steals title, and six scoring championships, and undefeated in the championship game. As you can see on the bottom, you don't see anybody, right? So for LeBron from 2012 to 2018, Three championships, three finals MVPs, two MVPs, wow, <laughs> seven All NBAs, one All Star MVP, seven first time, uh, what is this? Yeah, seven All NBA first team, and two time All NBA first defensive. Now, <laughs> This ain't even fair. And when we look down at this, you see Dirk Nowinski. He's got him a championship off of LeBron. You have Tim Duncan. He he got one championship off of LeBron. And you got Kevin Durant and you got Stephen Curry. They got three championships off of LeBron. And this is LeBron's prime. This is... This, <laughs> wow. It, it, it is LeBron's prime because if you think about it, LeBron was 35 years old when he won his last championship, right? So he he was still, in, and that was in 2020. So he was, uh, so what was he, 30 in, in 2018? Was he about 33 years old? He was still young. Dude was still in his prime uh, when he got his brains beat out. In, in 2018, when he got swept by the Warriors, this guy was still in his prime. And we can say by 2000, uh, well, 1998, Michael Jordan was not in his prime when he won his last championship. And probably from 96 to 98, Michael Jordan was not in his prime and he was still doing more than LeBron James. OK, so. <laughs> Nick Wright, all he all he could do was put up some stats. That's all he could do, right? That's all he could do. He 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 said that you know, what was it? The 2013 season was the the greatest season ever. Michael Jordan couldn't touch that season. I mean, look, we all know that's a lie. But <laughs> nobody played for individual numbers back then. Okay, played to win, played to win championships. Yeah, Michael Jordan had a lot of incredible individual numbers um in his early career because he had nobody on his team right the east was loaded 
um, the West was kind of loaded. So he had to put up these crazy stats just to make the playoffs. There was no play in like it was back then. There was, there, there was really no good guys on his team. <laughs> there was no, not compared to the Pistons, not compared to the, the Celtics, uh, the Cavs in the eighties, they was a better team than the Bulls. They had a better defense, all around offense, every, everything. They was just a better team than the Bulls. Every everybody knows that, but you know that's that's not promoted because they they don't want to promote stuff like that. The Bulls wasn't supposed to beat the Cavs in eighty eight, eighty nine. Um, I don't even know if they were supposed to beat them in ninety. So, yeah, I just want to bring this to you real quick that you know. We saw these little stats that Nick Wright put up the other day. And, you know, it, it just contradicts everything this guy says, what LeBron was doing in his prime. He really was he, – he was a great player. But Michael Jordan, he was he was, he was getting everything. He was getting on the on defense first team. He was racking up all these MVPs, uh, statistical titles. Um, I, I think he could have had more steals titles too. But the fact that they brought Ron Harper to that team, it took away a lot of uh, – uh, uh, defense, defense from Michael Jordan, that he didn't have to play defense as hard. He could concentrate on other things. They were they were all playing defense, really. I mean, they were shut. They were, they shut the league down for three years in a row on defense. They shut the league down, and even when Pippen was out, it was really the same thing. Because I try to tell you people that wasn't Air Jordan that you wasn't that you were seeing. That was like fundamental Michael Jordan that you were seeing, and all those fundamentals that he was working with was. You know, the footwork, the fadeaway, all this type of stuff, pump fakes, up and unders, all this stuff was from the 80s. You get those type of fundamentals from the 80s because the 80s was not that athletic as the 90s. Yes, you had athletic players, and Michael Jordan took it to a whole different level when he came into the 80s. You, uh, you, you, you had some athletic people, I'm not saying, but it was not like the 90s. So I, I think... The 80s had more fundamentals because they weren't as athletic, right? <laughs> and that's why you could see, you know, a, a team like Stockton and Malone, um, Jeff Hornacek and these guys who came out of the 80s, they was whooping up on Shaq and Kobe and, and Tim Duncan and, and those guys, right? Because they knew the fundamentals of the game. They could beat you without being, you know, uh, really athletic, they knew how to beat you to the spots. They they just knew how to play basketball. They don't teach. <laughs> the, the game is different today. The NBA has made the league a lazy game. You really don't have to have X's and O's, fundamentals. Um, you don't have real coaches, right? Back then, nobody was playing the same style of offense and defense and stuff like that. You look at today's game, it's just lazy. Four guys run to the three-point line, and one guy drives in, a, a defender collapses on him so like i told you now you got this guy doubled that's driving into the lane i don't know why another guy always collapses because he's got two uh, two options now either he can just keep driving or kick it out to the open guy now if he kicks it out to the open guy now another defender who is on another three-point shooter he's gonna run to that guy and lead this three-point shoot it's like the same fucking play Excuse my language. It's the same play every time. I'm sorry. This is not real basketball. It's almost like it's it's a scripted game. It's a scripted game. They all got together one day and they said, hey, who cares about uh, playing real fundamental basketball? We're not going to get hurt no more. We're going to use less effort. We're going to be able to, you know, go have a podcast now and do other things. And we'll just all play the same game. And who can... Whoever can outshoot each other from the three, that's gonna that's who's gonna win. So this is how LeBron has been able to keep playing because when you watch him, he's a forward, right? But he's never down at the block. He's never down at the post. Uh, usually on offense, because what's he doing? He's at the three point line half the time, right? He's at the three point line. If he gets the ball, he's gonna drive it in. He he's he's not a real. He should be a power forward. He's six nine. 250, 270, depends on how when the steroids kick in. But, you know, this guy should should, should be a power forward all of his career. He's too big to be a, a, a small forward. So is Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, a small forward? What are we talking about? I don't, I, I don't know. But it is what it is right here.
Nick Wright, he he lied up a storm. He brought you some stats. And his stats, only, only thing his stats meant was he got on the all-star team, um, all-NBA first team, and he got on the all-NBA defensive team with those stats, right? In that seven-year span. Where it, it, it won three championships, uh, two MVPs, three finals MVPs, and uh, three championships. <laughs> I mean, do we really need to read off what Michael Jordan has over here? That was damn near his his entire career in that seven year span, right? Only thing missing is like four scoring titles. What else? Uh, two steals titles, three All NBA defense. Um, you know, it, it's a couple things missing, but you know, Michael Jordan. This is why you know. He's regarded as the greatest player ever because he just wasn't winning championships. <laughs> he was winning MVPs at the same time, you know, on, on the all NBA first team defense scoring titles. I mean, this guy was doing it all while playing 82 games every season. So, you know, once LeBron know he, he couldn't ever duplicate what Jordan did, all he could do now was make the NBA a clown show. Right. And I want to come out with that video. Later on, I don't know if it's going to be today. We're going to talk about what happened to the NBA because once they knew these guys could not even come close to what Michael Jordan did because it was a bar set before Michael Jordan came in the league and he had to jump that bar or eclipse that bar, right? Or set a new bar of what Kareem did, Magic did, Bird did, Wilt did, Russell did, all these Oscar Robinson did, Jerry West did. Once um, Jordan set, set a new bar, a new standard, and once people like LeBron knew he couldn't, even come close to that standard, they start making the NBA into like a a reality show. It, it no longer became, you know, trying to reach that bar of Michael Jordan. And, you know, the NBA didn't move on from LeBron once he couldn't set that new bar or reach Michael Jordan's bar. They tried to change the, you know, what the bar was in the past. And they done turned the NBA into a reality show instead of, you know, what it was in the past. The NBA, you know, so... It, 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 it's kind of sad what they brought. They don't turn the NBA into. Hopefully they don't do this to the NFL. I don't think so because Mahomes, it looks like he might win six six championships or more because it. I want to do a video on that because his competition, as far as the quarterback position, is, <laughs> is nothing out there. It's nothing out there. So, you know, tell Nick Wright this video is for him. It just debunks everything he said. It makes – you know, LeBron looked like a loser, and the bar he done set, it, it ain't too high. So tell me what you think.